Hello there and welcome to the new video in which I will going to talk about the Power BI buttons, how you can improve the look and feel of the Power BI button and make them more interactive, more like app or website where you must have seen the buttons are very interactive in nature. That means when you hover your mouse over to the button, you know, there is a different feel. If you click on them, there is a different feel. So what are the properties that you can utilize within Power BI to make your button interactive? So let's go ahead and see that. And before I show you a quick information that this sheet, which is a Google spreadsheet is present in the description. That means you can come over here and search any video which I have posted so far related to the Power BI. Uh, you can search those or, and uh, jump directly to, to those videos using this link, which is provided here. Now I have one more report, which is the do data studio report. And here is this report where you can access all of my videos, whether it is related to click power BI, Tableau, Python, anything which I have posted, you can search it from here in the power BI. Make sure you uncheck this and then search the video. For example, you want to look something related to the Python. All the Python videos have come. Just check that and you will have all the videos related to the python the video link and you can jump directly to that particular video link so these are the two sheet reports that i have this report data studio for all the videos and this spreadsheet is just where i am capturing only the power bi related stuff all right let's move ahead to the topic okay so here we are within power bi and if you remember from the previous video what we have created is two button that with the help of these buttons, we can jump directly to the details, which is here and the page one, which is here. What I shared is basically the idea about how you can configure your buttons, which is these using the action uh, page navigation and choose on which page you want to jump. All right. But this looks like a very simple button and uh, does not have a lot of interactivity or uh, making your application cool. So what do we what can we do to make it more cool or more interactive? Well, let's select this. And over here, if you see, we have a couple of options over here related to the uh, related to the each of the buttons that we have. Now, let's see, first of all, the button text. So in button text, we have this default state. That means the original state, how the button should look like. Now we have on hover event, on press event and disabled event. So what should happen when you hover your mouse over to the button? So we have this button selected and let's click on on hover and button text. We can change the button text from here based on the event on hover. So in details, we will say go to details page okay so now once i hover my mouse over now you can see go to detail page so that is something more interactive for the user so if i just click it over here and go to the button text we can even change the color for example on default state let's say my color is this which is uh, light bluish even this color is here so let's select this but this is a text color so we may have to change the fill color as well so maybe i'll change the fill color i'll enable the fill color uh, for just to make sure that we are in the same stage so default state is here default state is here for fill and i will just change this to black or dark gray so now you see details so after that, on hover, what should be the stage? Well, on hover, let's say I want to make it more darker. And here, button text on hover, what we want is slightly more darker like this one. So now if you see, the button is not very much visible. I'll just change the text color maybe uh, from this to something white, right? Now go to details page is something which is appearing properly and down here we can change the color what we want based on the fill so what i chose is the black let me just see yeah now third property is what do we have is on press on press 
what color we want. Let's say we want white color itself, but on the fill section on press, what do we want is maybe let's say a different color altogether, green. That means you have pressed this button. So if I click it, you will see that green button is coming, right? So this is basically one way uh, by which you can utilize these events, which is default on hover and on press. These properties are present on in these uh, different options like button text, fill, even in the outline, if you will see, if you want any outline. So for example, on hover, we want the more outline. So maybe we will just try to increase it and give it, I don't know, um, some color. Okay. So now you see the red color is coming, which is quite weighty, uh, having a quite a lot of weight. So this is something by which you can, uh, based on the needs, you can change the look and feel of your button based on the uh, different properties, which is given over here. Uh, which is in the fill outline and even you can even check icon you have these different states so wherever these states are present just make sure that wherever you are changing that means button text icon outline fill the uh, all the properties are following the same state that means if you have some specific requirement in the default state then all should follow that default state a different requirement in the on hover that means look and feel the color the text the font size and everything you know it, it should follow that state because it's very easy to mix up the things for example you are doing something the default state something in the default state here but in the fill you have uh, you actually want to do it into a default state but maybe by mistake you can change the state and um, change the property and the button is not coming as expected. So keeping in mind that whatever properties we want to set is we are setting based on the uh, selection of the state and then moving ahead. So that's very quickly I wanted to show how you can format your button so that they look more like an app or a website where they are changing the text, they are changing the color based on your hovering the mouse or you are clicking it over there. So that's about it and I'll meet you in the next video with the new topic.